Do you often find yourself prioritizing your needs over others? If so, you're not alone. Many of us show signs of narcissistic tendencies from time to time. It's part of being human and having a healthy dose of self-esteem. But there's a line, a very important line, that separates those occasional moments of self-centeredness from a more severe condition known as Narcissistic Personality Disorder, or NPD. Now, you might be wondering, what's the difference? How can we tell if we're just having a moment of vanity or if there's something more serious at play? It's a valid question and one that we're going to explore today. We'll look at the frequency and intensity of these traits, the ability to empathize and show compassion, the tendency to manipulate and control, and the propensity for exploitation without remorse. So let's delve deeper and understand the difference between occasional narcissistic traits and NPD. Scene script. Everyone experiences the occasional self-promotion or desire for admiration, but what separates us from narcissists? The first key difference is frequency and intensity. We all have moments of self-indulgence, but for narcissists, it's a constant, intense need. Their desire for recognition often outshines all other aspects of their lives, including their relationships. Next, let's consider empathy and compassion. While it's natural to focus on our own needs and feelings, most of us still have the capacity to understand and empathize with others. Narcissists, on the other hand, struggle with this. Their own needs and feelings are so dominant that the feelings of others often become invisible to them. Manipulation and control are other hallmarks of narcissism. We all bend the truth or use persuasion from time to time, but narcissists take this to a whole new level. They will manipulate and control others without respect for boundaries, often resorting to emotional blackmail or other harmful tactics. Lastly, we come to exploitation and lack of remorse. Narcissists will use others to achieve their goals without a second thought. What's worse, they rarely feel remorse for the harm they cause. In contrast, those with occasional narcissistic tendencies may feel guilt or regret when they realize their actions have hurt others. This brings us to the heart of the matter. If you're worried about potential narcissistic tendencies, it's important to reflect honestly on your behaviors. Are these traits situational or do they form a consistent pattern? Ask yourself, do I prioritize my needs over the well-being of others? Do I struggle with criticism or admitting I'm wrong? Do I manipulate or control others to get my way? Do I lack empathy? Do I take responsibility when I hurt others? If you find that these tendencies are causing problems in your relationships or impacting your well-being, professional help could be beneficial. Understanding these differences can help us recognize if we're dealing with occasional narcissistic tendencies or something more serious. Remember, having these tendencies does not mean you have NPD. Self-awareness and a willingness to change are the keys to addressing these issues and building healthier relationships. Concerned about potential narcissistic tendencies? It's time for some self-reflection. Self-reflection and introspection are the keys to understanding our own behaviors and motivations, particularly when it comes to traits we might not be proud of. So let's delve into some probing questions. These are not meant to diagnose or label, but to provide a mirror for honest self-analysis. Remember, this is a safe space for introspection, and the goal is understanding, not judgment. Firstly, think about your priorities. Do you often find yourself putting your own needs and desires above those of others? While it's natural to care about our own interests, consistently overriding the well-being of others might be an indicator of narcissistic tendencies. Secondly, consider how you respond to criticism. Do you struggle to accept it or admit when you're wrong? If the idea of faltering or showing vulnerability makes you uncomfortable, this could be another sign. Next, reflect on your interactions with others. Do you manipulate or control situations to get your way? Are white lies or persuasive tactics a common part of your relational toolbox? While we all want to influence outcomes, using manipulation as a primary tool can be problematic. Fourth, assess your capacity for empathy. Do you find it hard to understand and share the feelings of others? If you often disregard the emotions of those around you focusing solely on your own, it's worth taking note. Finally, evaluate your sense of responsibility. When your actions hurt others, do you take ownership or do you tend to deflect blame and avoid feeling remorse? Accountability is a key aspect 
of healthy relationships and personal growth. Now, these questions aren't definitive, and they certainly don't label you as a narcissist. But if you find yourself answering yes more often than not, it might be a sign that some narcissistic traits are more prevalent in your behavior than you'd like. Answering these questions honestly can help you understand your motivations and actions. And with understanding comes the power to change, to grow, and to build healthier, more balanced relationships. If you feel your narcissistic tendencies are causing problems in your life, it might be time to seek professional help. It's not uncommon for these tendencies to start impacting your relationships or overall well-being. You may begin to notice that people are distancing themselves from you or that your need for admiration is taking a toll on your mental health. This is where professional help comes into play. A therapist or counselor, someone trained in understanding human behavior and emotions, can become your guiding light. They can help you understand why you behave the way you do, what drives your need for admiration, and how you can manage these tendencies in a healthier way. Remember, there's a significant difference between having occasional narcissistic tendencies and being diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, or NPD. Just because you sometimes exhibit these traits doesn't mean you have a personality disorder. It simply means you're human and, like all humans, you have areas of your personality that could use some improvement. What's important is self-awareness. It's the first step towards change and growth. Recognizing your tendencies, understanding how they impact others, and being willing to make changes is key. It's about moving from focusing solely on your needs to considering the feelings and needs of others as well. It's about learning to take responsibility for your actions and understanding that every action has an impact on those around you. And change is possible. With effort and understanding, you can learn to manage these tendencies to build stronger, healthier relationships, to become a more empathetic and compassionate individual. You can learn to channel your self-confidence into positivity, into a force that not only uplifts you, but those around you as well. But remember, you don't have to do it alone. If you're struggling, reach out seek help. Remember, this information is meant for general understanding and self-reflection, not as a diagnostic tool. If you're concerned about your behaviors, reach out to a professional for help. You're not alone in this journey, and there are professionals ready and willing to help guide you through it.